Hey everyone, my name is Nelson Miller here at PA Creative and in this week's Divi tutorial I have a code snippet that will add that notorious button to clear the Divi static CSS file generation to the WordPress admin bar at the top. So we're going to take that button that takes like seven clicks to find and make it into one click by having it visible all the time in your WordPress admin bar. So let's take a look at this exciting tutorial. Now, if you are on YouTube, you will need to click the link in the description to come over to our blog and get the snippet. And you can see from this screenshot, hopefully you can see that what we are doing. So in Divi, there is this feature. If we go into the Divi menu and then we go up here to Builder and the Advanced tab and it's static CSS file generation. And this setting is always enabled by default and there's this clear button right here and then when you push it it gives you a little green check mark like you've done something and what this is doing is creating inline styles that are static for your design settings and styles that are used on your Divi website so the reason this is even a feature is for performance so that it can be cached otherwise um, it would have to be loaded a lot more often okay so when it's cached it's able to be stored and then utilized without loading it right because it's it's already there so the issue is that you may be working on updates and changes or the new design of your site and you go to look at it and there's a problem I'm telling you what more often than not the solution is as simple as coming in here to the back end going under Divi, clicking theme options, clicking builder, clicking advanced and clicking the clear button. Cause that's clearing out that static, um, the static files. All right. And then it will, you know, it's like essentially like they're being removed and now it's making room for the new fresh ones to be, to be added. So maybe you've already seen it, but in my toolbar up here at the top, there is a link that says clear Divi cache right here. Now I've, this is appearing here because I've added a code snippet to make this appear. So when I hover over clear Divi cache, there's this button here, clear static CSS file generation. So it's this clear button for this feature, but now it's available here and it's available anywhere. So right here, if I click it while I'm in the back end, you know, it's going to uh, literally run the function and it tells you there that it's been cleared. Now, if I was on the front end, I could be on any page of my website. And as you can see, well, this is still, you know, I'm logged in, you know, I'm working on the site. So I get this button right here on any page. It's really great. So if I click it here, we'll actually get a little pop up like that. Hey, it's been cleared. Okay, great. Thank you. I didn't have to go to um, what are the steps? go to my dashboard and then go to Divi and then theme options and then builder and then advanced and then clear. Well, now I've got to go back and find that page again, right? So like that's a lot of steps reduced and especially for something that is so needed. Like this is, this is a, a, a function that is needed a lot when you are in active development on your site. So over here, you can read some things about what I've just shown you, you know, um, why do we need to do this and um, can it be disabled and then changing the location. And also you may have noticed that there was another link that I showed you um, that clears the Divi local storage. So you probably saw that if I hover here, there's two options. That's why it's a drop down instead of just one button. So it's clear local storage. And the reason we added that is because this is also a contributor to some issues. And both of these things, this is important, both of these things are not cleared when you clear your cache in the browser or in a caching plugin or in your hosting or in your content delivery network. That does not clear the Divi CSS file generation cache and the local storage. Okay. That's why we are adding these because these are kind of those things that kind of are the hangups, you know, someone's 
always posting in the the Divi Facebook groups like I have this issue and this issue and someone's like well did you clear the static file CSS oh no and then they come back and like that solved it it happens all the time so I can't stress enough that this should be part of your workflow every time that you're clearing your browser cache you should also be clearing this this um, static file generation and the local storage now the local storage is actually stored on your computer. In fact, if you're using Chrome, it's going to look like a location like that. Um, again, this is per browser and you know per device and all that. It's 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 not something that the public will see if if it's um, stored on your device, your browser, then it's for you locally. But a lot of times when you're in development, that can really mess you up. It, um, it stores things like even like the copy and paste feature in Divi. So like when you copy a module or copy module styles, um, um, there's some things with the JavaScript API of the Divi Builder. And yeah, there's other things that it can do to it's And again, these are all good things. It's not like it's a bad thing. It's just when you're in development and you're trying to work through an issue and you know maybe you've uh, working on, you've installed a new an update to a third-party module and you're not seeing the changes or you're having like an infinite load clear the local storage and and also the um, static file generation and you may be surprised how often that will help now of course this is not a warranty I don't claim that it helps every single time i my warranty is that you'll be surprised how often it does now here's the actual code snippet right here and I explain here a little bit about where you can add this. Now, I like things easy, especially if you're not, you know, of someone who's always messing around with PHP code. Because if you're not someone who is doing that, you need to be really careful. So the best way to do it, I recommend, is using the plugin that's called Code Snippets. You know, it's perfectly named. It allows you to add code snippets like this to your website. So just install the plugin called Code Snippets and then you'll come in your back end and I'll show you what you see. So you'll go over here on the left hand side, it says snippets, you can click on all snippets or add new. So here is the one, you would click add new like this and then it comes up with the screen, give it a title and then paste it here. So you can come down here in your website, click this copy button like that and then you would come in here and click paste like that. Now um, I already had it in here but you can see that once you've added it, give it a title and add it in here, you can click save changes uh, and activate it. You can actually, you know, if you're curious, you can look at it. You can change the the, the clear Divi cache message. You can actually clear the terminal, yeah, change the terminology if you want to. Just be careful. Um, but other than that, don't touch anything. Just paste it and you are done. You have those options for free. Um, and again, this is something that every, literally every Divi user needs. And the idea was just to simplify the whole thing, get it to the front end where you're using it all the time. And that's kind of the tutorial. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Now I wanna throw out a little plug. I am actually working on releasing a free plugin that will be available in the WordPress repository and the Divi marketplace for free and on our website for free. And it's going to have all of these like, you know, not all of them, but a lot of these like features that I do as tutorials. So a code snippet like this would be available in that plugin. So it's not released yet. I'm sorry that I can't like show you and tell you to go download it right now. But as you watch this in the future, just keep in mind to follow our blog, follow the YouTube channel here. If you subscribe, you'll get notified about that free plugin when it is released. So this is what we do. We do tutorials about Divi every single week. Um, some are a little more complicated than others. Some are easier. Um, but this one was a PHP code snippet. A lot of times it's CSS and fun things about design. Um, but today you kind of got the extra special one that does something that I think you can all appreciate. So give me a thumbs up if you do. Leave a comment and be sure to share this around the community. All right, we'll see you all in the next video.